Freehold versus leasehold investments, does it matter? I mean, ideally you want to get a freehold property rather than a leasehold property because with a leasehold property, which I've got free of, you don't actually own the, the building. Yeah, you don't own the bricks and the mortar. You own the unit within that building. So if the building has 10 flats, one, two, three, all the way up to 10, you own number eight, you just own that one unit. You don't actually own the whole building. So what does that mean? Well, that means you have to pay service charge. That means that I'm in that situation now. You know, I've got the two flats that's opposite each other. I had someone from the local building firm put a note through the door because obviously I weren't there. Obviously, I don't live there. Talking about changing the windows and that. Now, I knew this was coming already. And I knew allegedly that I might have to pay £4,000 for the windows and some works to be done. What they want to do is they want to put insulation on the outside of the building and paint the building from a red brick colour to a white kind of, it doesn't look like bricks, but yeah, a white outside, like render colour, really. Um, so you, you, you can go on a TikTok if you want, yeah? And then call him from there if you, if, I mean, I don't know if you use TikTok, innit? but I'm on the JYS TV regular account, yeah? So you can just go on TikTok if you want to call in there, innit? But yeah, they're, they're planning on um, doing like um, some insulation work, guttering and soffits and all that stuff and uh, changing the windows and that. Anyway, the, some woman must have put some note through my door, both of my doors and that, talking about, yeah, we come to knock or whatever, talk about doing the windows and that. I phoned her up, I said to her, listen, yeah? I don't really want to go ahead with this work or whatever, innit? So she's like, ah, what you need to do is you need to contact someone in the council and tell them that you want to be exempt from getting your windows changed and that. Because there's nothing wrong with the fucking windows. This is what happens in this country, yeah? People just want to throw away money for the sake of it. Oh, yeah, you know, the windows look like they could be, they could need upgrading that, but there's nothing wrong with the windows. The chick on the phone said to me, when we install these windows, there's going to be a 25-year guarantee. I said to her, Miss, I don't know when the windows in this building was installed, but I know they're not 25 years old. The company that installed them more than likely offered a 25-year guarantee as well. I would say the windows are about 10 years. Therefore, they don't need no fucking changing. Because yeah? that's that means I have to pay that money. So basically, they sent out some letters and I, I didn't see it. But they gave me a price for how much the win the windows and all the work was going to cost. Yeah? Now I anticipate it was going to cost me four thousand pounds per flat, so that's eight grand. Yeah, four times two is eight. So when I spoke to this woman on the council in the council, not the woman that was called, I spoke to her about doing the windows. I had to go to someone in the actual council. Yeah, she said, "All right, I'll remove you from the program for doing the windows." Yeah? So whatever the price was. She was going to deduct it, yeah? So anyway, she said, she sent me an email saying that, yeah, we've uh, removed the cost of the windows. So, you know, it's going to cost 1200 But the letter was still dated to back in January. But this letter was revised a week ago. So I'm, I must have messaged her. I'm like, are you sure it's going to be 1200 now? Because the letter is dated back to the 15th of January. I spoke to you a week ago on that. So please clarify how much the original price was. And it was 3,200 or 3,000. No, I think it was 3,800, you know. Yeah, it was like 3,800, I think. And then I got it down to 1,200. I'm not paying no damn money for no damn windows that don't need changing. That's our problem in this country. We live in a throwaway society. One little thing goes wrong, right? Throw it out and, and get brand new. Nah, man. Repair, repair, repair. Uh, 